Rolls-Royce secures funds to develop a nuclear reactor for a moon base. What? Did you see this? No. Uh, yeah. So yeah, apparently Rolls-Royce now, the uh, scientists and engineers at, the, at that company, they're working with a micro-reactor program. So we're talking micro-reactors on the moon and they want to basically get them happening. And they're in partnership with the UK Space Agency. So the, I didn't know they had a space agency, but there you go. Of course they do. Three million odd pounds uh, being sent to fund the project. And as the science minister for the UK puts it, as we prepare to see humans return to the moon for the first time in more than 50 years, we are backing exciting research like this lunar modular reactor with Rolls-Royce to pioneer new power sources. Partnerships like this between British industry, the UK space agency and government are helping to create jobs and on they go about standard stuff. So they reckon they'll have a reactor ready to rock and go to the moon by 2029. I don't love the idea of putting a nuclear reactor in a rocket because the only way of getting off this earth is a rocket. Mm. Scares me a little bit, but but I get I don't mind it, as an energy source. Maybe maybe you could take solar panels, but um, I say do it. I reckon it's awesome. Confession: I've been reading a whole lot about submarines at the moment. Small reactors in the submarine space allow things that are just not possible otherwise. Mm. I'm not against them. Look, I'm I'm more and more turning towards nuclear energy as the only pragmatic solution for a number of things oh, over the next fifty up. years. Shut up. You agree? You just can't say that. Oh, I don't. Up. And of course, I they don't. they go on to say, "Oh no, no, this is going to be great too because of its you know terrestrial benefits, like just what I'm talking about, micro reactors on Earth, Rolls Royce reactors. Yeah, they're very fancy. They're leather I, with all the trimmings, leather and cup gold. holders in your reactors. The best thing I saw on a Rolls an umbrella, Royce. an umbrella in the door of your yeah. Reactor. You've seen the the, the the Rolls-Royce umbrellas? Yeah, it's got an umbrella in the door. It's freaking hilarious. That's the only reason to buy it. I told you I worked at a servo years ago where the British High Commission Rolls-Royce used to come in and get serviced. So the car would come in, they'd service it, the British High Commissioner chauffeur would take it away and the mechanics would look at me and go, you don't want to buy a Rolls, mate? Nah. They, they'd, they'd leak too much oil. Nah, nah, Too nah. much oil. Yeah, no. Nah. Other than that, perfect. perfect. Oh, I'd have one myself. Yeah, yeah. I'd have one myself. I'd probably have a couple, actually. I'd raise the back, lower the front, boom, I'd yeah, make it yeah, a 25 yeah. I, cylinder. I, I was basically about to buy one the other day, then I looked at the oil use. Yeah, it's, it's like shit, it's like it's 10% more than your standard Holden. Yeah. Phew, oh, fucked up. Ridiculous. Yeah, yeah that's why I bought it. The wastage of that. It horrified me, too. That's when I thought, you know what? No rolls for me. Anyway, so there's a lot of excitement, continuous present of humans on the moon. 